let's see this problem consider the network shown below with r1 equal to 1 ohm r2 equal to 2 ohm r3 equal to 3 ohm the network is connected to a constant voltage source of 11 volts the magnitude of the current in amperes accurate to two decimal places through the source so current flowing through this would like to have in order to find that if you can find r equivalent across this okay such that 11 by r equivalent is going to be the answer okay now let us try to find out r equivalent across this and this okay so it is symmetrical or not okay now voltage symmetry or current symmetry okay basically means current symmetry in the sense across these two i'm supposed to do across the terminals as we discussed previously across the terminals we are supposed to do for current symmetry okay our kind of mirror symmetry such that current entering is uh, i and current leaving should be i and it should be splitted like that okay otherwise voltage symmetry if you see so folding symmetry we should be able to fold except this we should be able to fold like this okay of course this is uh, frankly speaking iit je questions okay but anyway in gate they have given in gate 18 itself so we should be able to do or we should be able to recap of our uh, previous iit je physics that's it okay now if you go ahead with voltage symmetry voltage symmetry voltage symmetry then what will happen see here yes let me do here okay so if i do voltage symmetry then see here for example okay let me take red now this is a for example this is b okay now with respect to this see here both are symmetric or not r1 r1 in between r2 r1 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 r2 r3 r3 symmetric so with respect to any point with respect to b for example if it is v1 v1 after r1 after r1 this should be v1 right now with respect to b if it is v2 it should be v2 problem solved that's it problem solved okay because with respect to a to v1 r1 is there a to v1 r1 is there the both are connected in parallel with respect to v1 to v2 r1 is there with respect to v1 to v1 r2 is there v1 to v1 r2 is there so what is the net equivalent is going to be zero getting my point right so means let us uh, start writing so this is a for example this is a okay so from a to v1 a to v1 r1 r1 parallel a to v1 a to v1 so a to v1 equivalently r1 by 2 so r1 is 1 ohm so 1 by 2 this is going to be v1 okay now v1 to v2 this is v1 this is v2 we said now so v1 to v2 r1 is there v1 if this is v1 this is also v1 only no? so v1 to v2 r1 is there v1 to v2 r1 is there so v1 to v2 r1 by 2 so this is going to be 1 by 2 this is going to be v2 okay now v1 to v1 r2 is there let us remove it because with the same potential if resistance is there obviously current flowing through that will be zero and v2 to v2 r2 is there just remove it now v1 to v2 r3 is there v1 to v2 r3 is there so v1 see here v1 to v2 r3 is there v1 to v2 r3 is there so v1 to v2 r3 by 2 because they are connected in parallel because r3 and r3 are connected between same node pair v1 v2 v1 v2 okay so that is going to be r3 by 3 is going to be 3 by 2 okay and v2 to b v2 to b r1 is there v2 to b r1 is there so v2 to b this is going to be b r1 is 1 ohm so one connected in parallel with 1 ohm only so this is going to be 1 by 2 problem solved okay so 1 by 2 1 across a and b we are supposed to find the equivalent resistance 1 by 2 1 by 2 1 and 3 by 2 and 1 by 2 connected in parallel connected in parallel so 1.5 5 inverse 0.375 plus 1 1.375 is the equivalent resistance now how much is the current flowing through this 11 by 1.375 is going to be 8 amperes okay so i got 8 amperes so current flowing through this is 8 amperes 
okay so problem solved so what is the logic here logic is very simple actually people try to say that uh, just leave this the other side and take only this and all are not required just give node numbers give node numbers whatever may be the equivalent here for example this side equivalent is equal to that side equivalent folding symmetry so if i keep v1 here v1 here same v1 will be there here also because symmetric if it is v2 same v2 will be there here because r1 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 r3 r3 r2 r2 getting my point right so v1 v1 v2 v2 problem solved then as per a v1 v2 b just write the equivalent resistance problem is done